just two games remaining in the 2020-21 BCHL season. Tonight it's simple for your Salmon Arm Silverbacks. It's a must-win game. They'll take on the Vernon Vipers for the 10th and final head-to-head game. Your backs enter three points behind Vernon in the standings. Backs have a record of 9-6-3. and three. Vipers with a record of 11-5-2. and two. The backs have actually won two consecutive head-to-head games against the Vipers. And as mentioned, they're going to need to do so again. They're also going to need to win in regulation if they want to keep their hopes of first place alive in the pod season. We'll start by recapping the last game for the Silverbacks. What put themselves in this position is a 5-4 loss to the West Kelowna Warriors on Wednesday. And they actually did score yet again the game's first goal in this one. Danny Ciccarello giving the backs a 1-0 lead after 20 minutes of play. But the Warriors would score two in the second to make it 2-1, one on a power play. And then they would add one early in the third to make it 3-1. A quick response from the backs on this one to make it 3-2 after Tucker Hartman made a fabulous play to feed Logan Shaw in front for his first of the season. But then two more goals from West Kelowna, 4-2 and then 5-2 from Carter Wilkie. Now the backs did get two power play goals late in the third. First, a one-time blast from Captain Hunter Sandsbury and a five-on-three made it 5-3. to three. And then a couple minutes later, it was Simon Tassie sniping one past the blocker of Johnny Derrick to make it 5-4. But that was as close as Salmon Arm would get. It was a little too little, too late. And the final score was 5-4. to four. Now in a game like tonight, head coach Tyler Shattuck says, it doesn't really matter how it happens. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just means the backs need to somehow get the two points. We just need a win. So however that is, is quick start, slow start, good middle, good finish. I don't really care how it looks. I just want to win. So uh, we need two points and however we get that done is how what we need to do. Your Silverback player to watch, powered by Twin Anchors for tonight's game, is veteran forward Logan Shaw. He had his first of the season on Wednesday. Also added an assist in that game, and he's been skating well alongside Drew Bennett and Cameron Reckie. He's your Silverback player to watch, powered by Twin Anchors. How to tune in, of course, it'll be BCHL TV carrying the game tonight. Please note the 7 p.m. puck drop, not 7.30, and that means we'll be on the air with the Bravey Motors pregame show just before 6.45, with puck drop just after 7 Vernon and Salmon Arm, 10th time this season. There's sure to be some fireworks. There's sure to be some great hockey, and we hope you'll join us then.